please. Thank you very much, uh, Gordon. Let me start by thanking for the hospitality we are enjoying, we are enjoying these days offered by Croatia, which is uh, preparing to cross the threshold of the European Union, become our 28th member. And let me say that uh, Croatia deserves this. You have uh, worked very hard for that, Gordon. You personally, of course, all your fellow uh, colleagues in your government, but especially the Croatian people, and we look forward to welcoming you, to welcoming you soon. And uh, I am also proud to, to say that Greece played a little bit of a specific role in your, um, in your uh, uh, efforts uh, in this path. Uh, I still very vividly remember the day when uh, your application was filed during Greece's uh, EU presidency back in 2003. So we are waiting for you to join us. When we are talking about uh, a future for Southeast Europe, uh, I, I could be very brief and just uh, end my intervention with one uh, sentence which uh, comes from the heart and we believe very strongly in that uh, the future of Southeast Europe, the immediate future of uh, our region, lies within our European family, the European uh, Union. This is uh, a guiding line for Greece. Uh, this is. Uh, our strong belief, this is a vision, if you want. We have uh, for the region a vision of a single Balkan space, fully integrated in the European Union with no gaps, no black holes, if you want. And uh, we are working hard, Greece is working hard for this goal and to this direction. And uh, I think that uh, all our friends and neighbors in the region, they know this, they appreciate this. And uh, first and foremost, also my good friend Antonio, and uh, I can say that I'm looking forward to the moment where we will closely cooperate and uh, also shape together policies as partners in the European uh, Union. So let us come together in the necessary constructive spirit to solve what lies between us in order to make exactly this common goal a reality and hopefully very soon. And may also take advantage of the presence of uh, another very dear friend, Egemen Bagish, to also repeat uh, our message to Turkey again, a very clear message that we want to see, Greece wants to see Turkey becoming a member state of the European Union. There are necessary reforms to be taken. There are obligations vis-a-vis -vis the European Union and all EU member states that must be fulfilled but we are ready to support Turkey in this, uh, in this path. Let me continue by saying that uh, I'm proud to say that Greece uh, has been playing a special role in uh, these uh, efforts of uh, our neighbors in the region to become uh, EU member states. I also dare to say that uh, we have been some sort of a driving force behind this, and uh, I think we can see this also on very important landmarks where we had uh, the honor to play a specific role. I'm referring here especially to the Thessaloniki strategy, which was decided uh, upon uh, during the Greek EU presidency in 2003 and which uh, still today is some sort of a cornerstone of uh, EU's Balkan uh, policy. And I'm referring also to our newest initiative, to what we call the Agenda 2014, uh, which is uh, a strictly political initiative, we thought that it was necessary to create again a new dynamism, a new momentum in uh, the efforts of uh, our neighbors in the Western Balkans to become EU member states. We thought that uh, and had the impression that this momentum uh, was lost in the past years due to the well-known enlargement uh, fatigue. So we have chosen this uh, date of 2014 as a time framework, but in very symbolic terms. And I would like to repeat this because uh, many of uh, my friends and colleagues have uh, referred to the uh, difficult public opinion within the European Union regarding enlargement, the enlargement fatigue that I have also mentioned myself. It's a very symbolic date, 100 years after the beginning of World War I in Sarajevo, which uh, can be regarded as the starting point of uh, 
many still open wounds in the region. And our point is to remind to public opinion in EU member states, to our European fellow citizens, that the European Union, in fact, is a peace project and a very successful one. And uh, we think that only through the European approach and uh, the European accession path, we can bring peace, stability, and prosperity uh, to the region. So once again, the Agenda 2014 is a political initiative to create the necessary new momentum in this respect. And uh, I'm very happy to see that we already have some uh, very good and positive first results. Uh, we see many of our EU partners embarking on this initiative. There is strong cooperation in this regard. My dear friend Michael from Austria, but also other countries, Bulgaria, Nikolai, Janos, Hungary, who are present here, we all have embarked on, this, uh, on these efforts. This is very important. And another very important uh, point is that we had only a few weeks ago the Sarajevo conference, where, as uh, especially Nikolai pointed out, there was a very clear message again to the region, the message that the region belongs to the European Union and that we have to do whatever is necessary in order to reach, uh, to come to this, um, to this goal. So let me conclude by saying that uh, the journey to the European Union is a challenging one and its completion requires a genuine commitment to democracy, the rule of law, the protection of human and minority rights, and of course good neighborly relations and the peaceful settlement of disputes. And especially as to the latter, the intensification of efforts to settle the unresolved disputes of the past is indispensable, not just because the requirement of good neighborly relations is part of the existing conditionality, but also because it is inconceivable, I think, to build a real partnership where disputes and open issues still exist. It is a blatant rebuff to the spirit and the letter of the European integration project. And to put it more simply, inside a united Europe, there is no room for old disputes. And Greece, I think, has proven that it knows how to play its role in this as a credible, reliable and good partner, neighbor and friend. Gordon, thank you very much once again for your hospitality.